I fancy myself a good heist person. I I enjoy putting on the black cat suit and, you know, getting ready with the, you know, karate moves and stuff. And then I'd do some ridiculous thing that would make it all go wrong and we'd be arrested. Hello. <laughs> You'll never be a real mouse. It's lovely to talk to you about Robin Robin. My heart felt so full after watching this. <laughs> Is it the dream, number one, being in an Aardman film, and number two, getting to play an evil cat? <laughs> Um, it, it, it was a dream uh, come true working on an Aardman film because I'd been a, a huge fan of Wallace and Gromit many years ago and uh, had seen the, those films over and over again with my then small daughter. And, um, and it is quite fun to, uh, to play a villain because I, I, I don't often play villains and I think I might have to... Um, play more villains in the future. But yes, it was a lot of fun uh, finding ways to imbue the cat with as much menace as, as possible. We definitely need you as more villains in the future. <laughs> definitely need that. <laughs> um, I felt so warm and Christmassy watching this though. If we were to spend Christmas together, what would I learn about you? Oh goodness. Uh, hmm. Uh, our household is quite relaxed around Christmas. Uh, we spend a lot of time in our pajamas. Um, it's quite a lot of chaos, I'd have to say. Or um, uh, yes, chaos and noise and mess. Probably that's what you'd learn. Chaos and pajamas are good with me. So that sounds okay. like the perfect Christmas. Great. You're you're welcome anytime you want to come over. I'll bring the wine. <laughs> This is just the perfect Christmas film. Is there a movie you watch every Christmas without fail? Well, there was a movie that my brother used to watch when he was younger uh, called uh, The Christmas Story. That took place in the 1950s, that even when he was a kid in the 90s was, you know, incredibly dated. Um, but it still has uh, good value. And I think that's probably the one that my family's watch the most over time and of course it's been overtaken to a degree by films like Elf and um, uh, another more contemporary animated films but I have to say a uh, Christmas story really stands up. I always just sob over any Christmas film. Are you a crier when it comes to films? Yes I can yes. I cried in the, the latest James Bond film, I cried. Did you? I did. If a film makes me cry, I'm happy. I was tearing up at Robin. Oh, good. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> yes, very, very cute. Properly tearing up. Um, the mice in this pull off some very tactical heists. If Gene Milburn, Dana Scully and Stella Gibson were to pull off a heist, who would do what? Who would be the driver? Who'd be the lookout? Who'd actually steal the stuff? Uh, I don't think Jean should be the driver. Oh my gosh, what would Jean do? Uh, I think she'd have to, I think Jean would have to be the driver because I don't think you'd want her inside the building, not setting off alarms and stuff. So you'd probably have Stella and Scully in, Scully planning the whole thing, maybe. St or maybe Stella planning, Scully actually doing the stealing. I think Scully would know how to how to like you know scale down the side of a building, and she's done somersaults before. So I, I'm sure, even though she, I think she's probably 80 by now. I think she'd probably still do somersaults, and uh, so Stella would do the planning. Yes, orchestrate the whole thing, get everybody you know on time, knowing what they were meant to do, knowing their job. And, uh, and then Jean would be ready in, the, in her getaway station wagon. This is a film that I would love to see. <laughs> It'd be an epic heist. How well, how well do you think you'd fare in a heist, though? I know oh, that awful. Be awful. I'd trip and I'd set off an alarm within like 0.3 seconds. I know that. I, I, mm. I'd, you know, I'm really good at spotting, I'm good at spotting cameras. So I, I'd be good at like spotting where the CCTV camera is and sneaking around so that we, you know, I could spray it 
so that it wasn't filming us. But I'd probably, if I put a ladder up, I'd probably fall off the ladder before I got to spray the camera. And then it would just all be over. So you're quite clumsy then? Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. No heist will be happening. We're all no, safe. No, no, I don't think so. I, I fancy myself a good heist person. I I'd, I'd enjoy putting on the black cat suit and, you know, getting ready with the, you know, karate moves and stuff. And then I'd do some ridiculous thing that would make it all go wrong and we'd be arrested. Robin! I could very much relate to the magpie in this because I'm a bit of a hoarder. Oh, How yes, I am too. You? Oh, yeah. I am a hoarder, yeah. What kind of stuff? Do Everything. You do you keep mementos from film sets as well? Yeah, I just, you know, I move around a lot for work and et cetera, et cetera. And so there in, in wherever I am, there's a room that I go, oh, I'm just going to put this in here for now and then I'll go through it when I have time. And then five years later, it's still there. And then when I eventually go through it, I think, oh, I can't throw that out. Oh, I can't, I think, you know, somebody spent a lot of time making that. Or, um, it, you know, whatever the excuse is. You should go through some of the stuff and just re-gift, re-gift some of that stuff. Could you still not do it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I wouldn't want the person to find out or I wouldn't want the person who's receiving it to think, I bet this is a re-gift and not. There's something about giving something new, even if you met or just fresh, you know, for the first time. Obviously, that feels like it's a more considered gift. I'd feel terrible giving somebody something that it, it feels lazy to do that. No, that's very fair. That's very fair of you. Speaking of, of gifts, um, what's one of the best Christmas gifts you've ever received? Probably handmade. My daughter's an artist and she makes things for Christmases and birthdays. And some, they used to be books and sometimes they've been embroidered napkins that, of course, I'd never use because she made them and embroidered. And Or um, she made a puzzle once that was amazing, um, kind of like a 16th century image, but she had put all of the family faces and, and close family friends into the into the puzzle. And um, that was amazing. And and yeah, she's, so those, those, those are definitely my favorite presents. The magic shiny. I wish I was a mouse. All Robin wants to be in this is a mouse. If you could be any other woman for the day, who would you want to be? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I know so many that I wouldn't want to because you their lives are just so, be. well, no, just because of stress, you know, or you wouldn't want to be Jelaine, uh, Jelaine Maxwell right now, for instance. Yes, you absolutely would not. <laughs> Sorry, or Elizabeth Holmes. Sorry, those are the women who are coming to mind. Um, what woman would I want to be? Um, it would be fun to be Michelle Obama for a day, maybe. You don't get cooler than Michelle Obama. No. Um, and really quickly, because I'm getting the rap, are you yeah. aware that you and a fig broke the internet this week? Uh, no, I wasn't. Slowly. I know it's about the clip and the gif, but I, I haven't been following any of the reactions or anything. Your fans, who are so lovely and dedicated, were just loving it. Oh, good. <laughs> Happy to please them. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much for yeah. talking to me, and huge congrats on this. Thank you very much. Yeah.